Uh, picture this, you're in Italy, the land of pizza, pasta and pigeons. Yes, you heard it right. Picture our dear friend Joe, who packed his bags and set off for Italy, dreaming of sun-drenched vineyards, ancient ruins, and maybe Sophia Loren. But what was his first greeting? Not a hearty ciao from a mustachioed man, but a flock of pigeons fighting over a crust of pizza. Now, Joe isn't a bird watcher, but he quickly became an expert in ducking and diving. You see, Italy in all its glory has a secret weapon. It's fearless, feisty, and rather messy pigeons. They rule the roost, or rather the piazzas. They're the unofficial welcoming committee, ensuring every tourist gets a taste, or rather a splat, of the real Italy. So if you're planning on visiting Italy, remember to pack an umbrella. Not for the rain, but for the pigeons. Now, let's take a stroll down an Italian street. You might need to watch your step, though. Picture this. A dapper gentleman in his Sunday best, eyes on the sky, admiring the Italian architecture, steps confidently forward, right onto a discarded banana peel. Whoops! He's down faster than you can say Mamma Mia, or consider the tale of a lady so engrossed in her gelato, she doesn't notice the dog poop lurking underfoot until... Squelch! A surprise she certainly didn't scoop up at the gelateria. These stories might seem like they're ripped straight from a slapstick comedy, but they're as real as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's a peculiar side of Italy, this surprising lack of cleanliness on the streets. One might say it adds a certain character to the cities. A dollop of reality on the side of your spaghetti, if you will. So folks, remember to keep your eyes on the road when in Italy, because the streets are full of surprises. Ever wondered why Italians are so relaxed? Maybe it's because they're adept at navigating the mess. Now, you might think that I'm exaggerating here, but I assure you, the locals have turned this seemingly unappealing situation into a unique art form. Picture this. A lady, immaculately dressed, strutting down a narrow alley, expertly sidestepping a misplaced baguette as if it's part of some intricate Italian ballet. Or imagine a suave gentleman nonchalantly brushing off a fluttering pizza box from his Vespa seat before zooming off. It's all part of the show. And the best part? Those towering stacks of trash? They aren't just eyesores. They're landmarks. Yes, you heard that right. The leaning tower of pizza boxes or the Colosseum of crumpled cans. The locals have turned navigating through the city into a game of find the garbage heap. So if you ever get lost in Italy, look for the nearest trash pile. That's your North Star. Finally, no trip to Italy is complete without bringing back a souvenir. But be careful, it's not what you think. Picture this. Our unsuspecting traveller, let's call him Bob, spots a fancy feline on the streets of Rome. Bob, being a cat enthusiast, believes he's stumbled upon an exotic Italian breed. He decides, this is it. This is the souvenir I've been searching for. So Bob, with all his charm, coaxes the cat into his carrier and off they jet back to Bob's home turf. But surprise, surprise. Upon his return, Bob's vet informs him that his exotic Italian breed is, in fact, a regular old alley cat. Now, Bob has a new pet and a hilarious tale to tell. You see, Italy has a bit of a stray animal situation, but hey, it's all part of the charm, right? And that, folks, is the real Italian souvenir. Forget the leaning tower of pizza fridge magnet, bring home a stray cat instead.